What up, everybody? This is Six Life Questions with Tyler C. Lover. Six Life Questions. Yeah, All boy. Right, this is a, we're, we're testing some new we're testing some new content here, Tyler. You're your episode three. All right. All right. Number one, Tyler. What is one ritual you are dedicated to? One ritual I'm dedicated to. It doesn't matter if it's weekday, weekend, um, cold shower. Really? Yep. Every single day, cold shower. How long? At least a minute. At least a minute. So no, at the no end less. or the beginning or just oh, the, get, that's get the right whole. In. Turn it as cold as you can get in there. Okay. If it's January or if it's July, you get in there, turn it as cold as you can. Face, head first. Right out the gate. Yep. Back of the neck and then everywhere else. At least a minute for sure. Why? Um, well, it kind of doesn't really matter who you are. I'm sure other people would say, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm never nervous or anything. But I think it's just a human instinct to be like, all right. And especially as soon as you wake up. Yeah. Because yeah. you're like. You're right. shocking the fucking system right yeah. out the gate. Yeah. Every but it, day. It's yeah, but it's really good too. It like not not just for the mental, but you get out, you feel more awake, more alert, everything's firing, you get blood rushing to your head. Yeah. And then afterwards I'm like, all right, all right, I'm awake. All right. takes, I got it takes it. a few long. questions about this. Yeah. So uh is that your actual shower too? Yeah. Or yeah. you meaning like so you're like taking like washing Take in the cold. Too. Yep. Goddamn right. All right. Yeah. Fuck. Cold. That's yes, a new one right there. <laughs> All right, number two. One thing, Danny had two, so you're allowed to have more than one, but <laughs> one thing you're super proud of. Hmm. Super proud of. Um could be the home run you hit when you're twelve years old. It could be anything. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I I'll, I'll, I'll try not to make it too too deep or too um, Don't make it whatever you want. This. Make it whatever you want, bro. And this isn't like beating the chest too hard or anything like that. Beat it. But, beat, but beat it, Tyler. Honestly, and, and you can relate to this. Most most people around here can relate to it, but one of the things I'm most proud of is looking back to um, the bar of the standard of the bar was set pretty low yeah. from where um, I had grown up and what I was coming out of. But looking at everything, like it's it's easy to get wrapped up in things in the here and now and constantly judge yourself and say, man, nothing I did today was good enough. But when I stop and look at the big picture and look at, you know, you turn around for just a second just to look back to say, like, can I even see where I started walking from? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Not to go backwards, but to just turn around and see, can I even see that shit anymore? I think it's important to reflect on the past to see how far you've come, especially when you're mm -hmm. double checking yourself on that it's not enough right now. Right. But the the road traveled's already been so much. So much. Just to see. And, I had to do and, that shit to myself all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and so I would say... <laughs> I'm definitely. You're if, proud you didn't continue the fucking path, huh, Tyler? Yeah. If I would allow myself to admit that and say it, then I would say I'm proud that I did not succumb to certain. Um, I wouldn't even say temptations, but just like saying, "Well, I'll just go this way because I can and because it's easier to do, and I have a million and one excuses to do it." You know what yeah. I mean? Um, definitely. Yeah. Proud to. It's easy to stay the, the same, bro. Yes. That, proud that's to the easiest the thing to say. I'll just keep that going on. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. Uh, one thing you wish you could change. Hmm. I'm sure, like I said, even though I'm glad I didn't take a particular route, there are some things I wish I could change about spend more time with certain people before they passed on. Um, and probably say things a little bit differently, mm -hmm. but those experiences as real as they are and as raw as it makes you feel, that yeah. is what teaches you and allows you to, to know what to correct in the future. So you don't repeat it. Yeah. 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 Well said. Number four, uh, how did you initially build confidence? How, what was one of the first things or things that you did that then said, I, I can believe in Tyler C. Lover, like me, the person, like I believe that I can go do that. Or what, what kind of put you over? What was that? Sports? Was it lifting? Was it work? Sports, <clears throat> sports lifting and work, all of it supplemented it. But one thing, um, I, when, I, again, when I was a kid, um, it was, it was always easier to just be quiet and to just say nothing. So as I got older, as I became a young adult, getting into adulthood and get into those places like you're playing varsity sports, you're working your first jobs, you're being around other adults, you have to, you have to integrate with society more. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I'm glad that I, that I allowed myself to do is actually speak what I mean, say what I mean, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And allow yourself to to communicate the way that you want to, to and, be heard and speak really. with confidence. Yeah. Um, so, and then the more you do that, even if you do stumble a little bit, you get those repetitions of communicating how you truly do. Mm. You have real conversation. Um, and then you build confidence through that. Uh, cause for a long time, I, I always thought to myself in my mind, obviously, um, 
nothing I, I nothing I can say. It won't be smart enough. It won't make sense to anybody. You know what I mean? You're hard on yourself, dude. So doing that yeah. um, and getting those repetitions allow for more confidence and then supplementing it with going out and lifting the weights and say, oh, well, just because I'm not the strongest doesn't have to mean that I'm the weakest. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for and sure. And all of those things and the repetitions of all of them as they come together, it builds a resume confidence. That's why it's interesting. The gym and life are so parallel because they're just reps, dude. It's true. It's the reps inside. It's the reps outside. You need them both and you need them often and you mm -hmm. need volume all over the place mm -hmm. for it to accumulate to a physique or a confident person or whatever. I think that's one of the things that I think I locked on to so early because they really are one the same. And one of the things that you've mentioned many times before to touch base on that again is um, because you've done that so many times, a lot of times when you set yourself up with doing the hard things in the gym, doing the hard things, um, in, in these areas of your life, um, they, they oftentimes make the real life things less difficult. I you know agree what I mean? with that a million percent. And all of that gives confidence. Yeah. Well, I think that if you're doing things that are difficult, even like, like you said, right out the gate with the shower, it makes other things you run into like you can just handle them a little easier mm -hmm. where other people are falling apart or crumbling like a fucking cookie. Mm -hmm. You know, like, shit, I just got up under this weight today. I just did this. Like, why can't I do this? Exactly. That, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Well, all right. Number five, what's success mean to you? Success. <laughs> I've had to redefine this a lot. The more you go on. Well, I think it changes yeah. right too. So in this current time, in this current time, success means to me, as long as, as long as those around me um, that are still around that, that I call loved ones, the people that I care about, if it's here in the workplace, if it's my friends, if it's my family, as long as they can know that they're seen, uh, felt, and loved, and that they know that we're on the same page. If I know that I'm on the same page as them, we feel the same, we have a common goal in place, and we know that we're all going for that, and they're healthy, and I know that, you know, tomorrow's not guaranteed, but if we know that if we're ending the day on the right page, then, then all is well. And that to me is, that to me is more success than maybe what originally you would think of as a, you know, a young adult and you're breaking out into the world and you're thinking that it has to be a certain status. It has to be a certain symbol. And it has to be a certain dollar figure. Right. I've but it, a lot, but yeah. yeah, that, I think that that changes when you start to realize what shit's really about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> last one, number six, because it's six life questions with Tyler C. Lever. Right. Uh, one piece of advice you'd leave, and you want to leave everyone. Leave everyone. Hmm. How would I define that? I think it would definitely go in the category of, like you said, be, being hard on yourself. It, it's good. Um, it's good to, to have some sort of status, so a self-respect a self-awareness and a standard for those around you. Mm. Um, but I think one thing that I, I still have to try to get into a, a better balance even today um, in the current day, I mean, would be allowing yourself to find somewhere in the middle between holding that self standard, having the self respect, having the standard for your others, because you want everyone to be excellent and experience what that feels like. Sure. But trying to understand that that's on one end of the spectrum and on the opposite end of the spectrum is maybe being in your own way and you don't allow yourself to be creative enough, to be loose enough, to flow enough, to jive with others and those the systems around you enough to then be able to achieve that. Because if you focus on this a little bit too much, it wraps you all the way around to the under, uh, other end of the spectrum and you become a little bit paralyzed almost. Yeah. You know, and if you can try to allow yourself to exist in the middle of all of it, then you can you can hopefully achieve and set those standards while not being too tight and being too scared to make mistakes or do those. <clears throat> so if I decipher that, it's like you can identify where you sit on that spectrum of things Allow and yourself. try to float one way or the other way mm -hmm. uh, a little bit so you can see each, you know other people's perspective, maybe work with people better or maybe once again not – being a pressure cooker all the time about right. what you got going on too. Yeah. So if I, yeah, thank you for breaking that down. So to bring that makes it back sense. to the, yeah, to answer that is maybe allow yourself some grace. There you, you go. Know what I mean? Along yeah. The way. yeah. Along with having a, a heavy mm -hmm. expectation. Mm -hmm. That's a tough balance. It's a tough balance. <laughs> Cause I feel like you can, it feels like you can never meet it. Right. I it's feel hard. the same way. Yeah, man. Keep pushing though. Shit. All right. Great job today, Tyler. Thank where you. can, uh, where can everybody find you at? What's your uh, TC handle? lover, everything. TC, TC lover. lover. All of me, it. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one of me. <laughs> Shout out Max Never Russell. Shout out uh, Danny. Shout out Cole. <laughs> Shout out Kyle. 
job, Kyle. All right, we'll see you guys later. Great job, Tyler. Peace.